Hello everybody and welcome back to our CK2 tutorial thing where we are about to get into some glorious battle. Glorious. How's glorious combat. So we were uh, we're not we're not overwhelming new players with the stats. So but generally you want high green numbers, no low numbers, no no red numbers. And uh, the one thing to look out for is something called experimentality. Experimentality is the worst modifier in the game because uh, it can go like plus 50% combat stats or minus 50% combat stats and there's zero way to know how, no mm. which, and it's just it's just terrible. So look out for that. It shows, a green, shows us a green number, not a green thing. So having negative 12% morale defense in my center is probably a bad thing? That's not that good, yeah. It's okay. not terrible. I'm going to move that guy. <laughs> because, I mean, there's all these stats in combat, but here's the truth. Bigger number beats smaller number. Mm -hmm. There's also no such thing as combat width, and uh, so all your troops can engage. So a hundred thousand stack can engage a one thousand stack, and all the hundred thousand people will contribute and just demolish it. Okay, so when when we left, my my question was: Are there kind of like tactics where you want to like maybe have high offensive stats on a flank sort of thing, and have high defense in the center? Yes, uh, you can you can experiment and you can do what you like in those cases. I have never paid any more attention. <laughs> okay. So All right. Bigger number All right. Speed, smaller number. You want your center to hold, and yeah, flanking is very important. If you can, But the thing is, if you route their center, that's much more significant than routing their flanks. Hmm. Yeah. So, I've speed, low down to speed one. Let's march on Coimbra. Oh, I, me, I haven't brother. selected... I haven't selected... Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just zooming in, admiring these, uh, these portraits. I, I've never looked at what the people look like before i like that the uh we each have our own like heraldry on our on our coats of arms that's very cool mm -hmm. are you any good no you don't have anything would in I a ever... two to one fight unless it was something like they were all light infantry basically mm -hmm. the outnumbered army could, could never win mm. pretty much never and in this case we've got them outnumbered more than two to one yeah i just had I had some commanders that didn't even have any bonuses and stuff like that. Yeah, you'll want to want to point them probably in the future. I mean, they are yeah. they are just neutral. They're not bad. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm running to speed one so we can look at every phase of this combat. We're going to arrive in a couple of days. Okay. Very shortly, in fact. I'll just keep it going at speed one, just so we yeah. can uh, make sure we get the full gory detail here. So we got yeah. eight thousand against three thousand three hundred. I feel like we're going to win this. Personally, we arrive on the 28th. Oh, the Glacians have arrived before us. And as you can see, the glorious combat mm. animations. Mm -hmm. So if you... Oh, I can't... Oh, sorry. This is and this is one of those games where you can't view battles you're not in. Oh, So we need to wait okay. until we're actually there. Okay, we have arrived. Yeah. Glorious. Okay, we did take a river crossing. God mm. knows where that river was. Oh, no, sorry, because <laughs> they crossed from the north. That's where the river mm. was. This game, like you, yeah. has river crossing indicators. If you click on the province, it'll tell you which provinces it will cross a river for. Okay. Now, select your army, and you'll see the combat interface. Yeah. Now, you can see you've got your uh, left, your center, and your middle. Sorry, and your right. And mm -hmm. you can see that, actually, it's not the generals you set up. Yeah. I am leading our left flank, because I am deemed to be the best commander out of the three that have been, you know, sent okay. forward for the left flank. Yeah. The center is being led by this guy, who's got better morale damage. He's not as good as my center. I'm not sure what... I don't know how it determines who gets this, who gets which, mm. which flank, but your general is leading the uh, the right flank. Now, you can yeah. see if you hover over the river crossing indicator, which is in the top right, it's a serious penalty. And it does something different to each car each uh, type of unit. Wait, where do I see this? In the top, you've got the attacker. Oh, the, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it does lots of different things, and there's also you know different terrain modifiers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it looks like everybody's pretty unhappy about that. As far as I know, there are no dice. Hmm. Uh, now you can see these. There's a morale bar for each flank. So if I have day tick, mm -hmm. there we go. Each of the I am doing. I'm doing sterling work. I managed to reduce them down to 81% morale on my side. They yeah. flee when they get down to 25% morale. That flank starts fleeing. It flees okay. for something like a five-day period, in which point I still get to attack, but they can only flee. Hmm. If you look at the infantry types, basically only cavalry and archers have high damage in the fle in the pursuit phase. There's the skirmish phase, 
the melee phase and then the pursuit phase and the fleeing phase, right? So you can see we all okay. have bows on our icons, right? Yeah. That means we're in skirmish phase. In yeah. skirmish phase, heavy cav is useless. Sorry, yeah, heavy infantry is useless. Archers are really good. Things like that. Yeah. So as we let time go, we can see that... Uh, oh, yeah, and there's the other one. You can see how many deaths have been on each flank. Okay. And then the number is how much damage has been inflicted on that flank. So you can see I have dealt 105 damage to uh, your commander's measly 23 over on the right flank. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> and you can see that my flank is just being decimated. And very soon we should enter melee, at which point my flank will break almost immediately. My, my opponent's flank, anyway. Oh, my wife right, is pregnant. You can see that my flank just broke. Can you see that? Uh, yes, I see. Good. Yes. So now I am engaging the central flank. Mm -hmm. And if you hover over the uh, my bow, you should see at the bottom, the bottom there's a flanking plus 30%. Interesting. The commander's chain. Oh, because another army came in. Yes. Okay. So you can yeah. see I've got this flanking plus 30%. Now, if you, we were flanking from the right-hand side and the left-hand side, that would be you know, added up, flanking of mm -hmm. 30%. But if you could break the center and flank the left flank, you get a, with all three, if let's say all our flanks were attacking their left flank, we'd get a mm -hmm. flanking bonus of something like plus 280%. Oh, it's okay. It's just mental. Yeah. So we'll let the battle keep going. As you can see, now they're flanking the center. They have no hope. They're being destroyed. Uh, mm -hmm. We're still doing volley hash. We haven't even entered melee yet, which we should do surely at some point. There we go. That looks melee like has it, just yep. been joined on the eastern flank. Ooh, my experience in the matters of war has increased, and there are many things you'll do differently in future battles. What shall you focus on? I can now master flat terrain or flanking. I think I'm going to what's master this flat terrain. Horse? There's Sorry. melee and then a horse. That is pursuit. Okay. Okay. So you can see I am attacking. Me and the right flank are attacking the their right flank, mm -hmm. and the center flank is pursuing their center flank. Okay. And as you can see now, we're all pursuing, and keep pursuing, and kill a couple more of them as they flee, and in a second they'll have gone. Loads of pursuit going on here. There we go. Now you can see the end screen. Mm -hmm. So now we can see can tell, the casualties. Yes, got all the casualties. Uh, that's gained us fifty-five percent war score. Big battles. <laughs> One big ba battle determines the war in CKT, okay. usually. Okay. Now that also gained you, I gained at least 21 prestige, which is pretty mm -hmm. nice. Sorry, that's total gain in the battle. So I only gained three prestige. Um, oh, okay. The players gained eight. <laughs> Leading them yeah. personally gives you the uh, prestige. Leading the center gives more prestige, I think. Oh, uh, okay. We also gained some piety, at least I did, and some military technology points were gained from combat, which makes so much sense. Yeah, it does. Now, no shattered retreat, so give chase. He's going down uh, here to the south. Yeah. Now we'll go up to speed three, and this next one will just be a stomp. We're going to do what's called ping-ponging, where you bounce him from province to province to province. So we can crush him down like this, and then we just chase him again, and uh, we can destroy him again. Glorious. Ooh, my matters of war have increased. I'm going to focus on the center. Yeah. So if you go to my, my character now. Uh, yeah, one second. I got to pop up about this this evil lady. Oh, yeah. Well, she Vicious does. rumors have circulated about me lately with a lot of effort. I've finally managed to trace them back to Princess Araka of Castile. You trace them back to her? Ooh. Apparently. You can, if you can publicly denounce her, I think you can throw her in jail. I. It just says the foul trollop and then... My opinion of her changes the negative 50 for 60 months. Slandered? Did it say ch charge slandered? Uh, changes by 50 for 60 months, and then slandered is just in parentheses. Okay, press that. And now, uh -huh. uh, okay, now we'll go to her character. Mm hmm. And see if you can imprison her. So right click on her. And then imprison. Now, if you click in prison, does it still say this is a tyrannical action and will cause minus 40 with all your vassals? That's why it's a bad idea to imprison everyone, by the it's way. It's an act of tyranny, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. Now, I've just noticed something. Hmm. Did you get in a war and didn't tell me? I don't think so. You did. How did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> did somebody did. declare on me? The no 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 did is sieging you down with uh, 6,000 troops. Oh. <laughs> Okay. So we better respond to that.
I'm gonna yeah. join your war. I don't I don't think I got a pop up about a war, but maybe there were a lot of pop ups. Well maybe the no 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 is at war with attacking you in their holy war for Castile. Okay, so we better we better go up here. Actually, it doesn't look like I can offer to join your war. Oh, but we could form an alliance. Yeah, let's form an alliance. Okay. In this game, you can only form alliances when... Uh, maybe now you can try and call me to arms. Yes, In this game, can. you can only form alliance... Good. In this game, you can only call... Declining would cost us 255 prestige and make us an alliance breaker in the eyes of the world. I mm. accept. Um, I recommend we win this... Whoa. No, let's go defend your land. Let's rally in uh, Zamora. Uh, okay. Or in fact, if you like, here, uh, I've attached my army to yours. You're now in charge. Uh, so you can lead me around. That's a bad idea. <laughs> He's in hills just, just there, so maybe you should go and attack him in his capital. Uh, okay. Tola Toya? Yeah, you don't that really is. want to attack into the hills. I think we've probably done enough in that war. We'll get prestige based on our contribution, by the way. If you go onto the war screen, you can see that he thinks he's done 65% of the work, and we've done 12 and 14, respectively. Okay. So he's sieging down the war goal, which is worth more war score, but if you can take his capital, then go north and take the war goal, that will be uh, that'll be good. You can retake the war goal. Now let's look okay. at assaults. Click on the province that's under siege. One second, I have a pop-up. Okay, cool. What does it say? Uh, the king of Galicia has asked me to spend some quality time with family. Okay. So it's either I, I hang out with him or not. Might as I well guess be, I'll yes. hang out with he's, him. Because he's taking the family focus. So he wants to, like, mm. make our family be friends. Hmm. Okay. So I'm on the siege interface. Yes. Great. So you can see we've got 7,960 attackers. And they got 1,000 mm. defenders. Where's the total number? Oh, okay. I see. The green bars. Yes. I'm leading the siege, it looks like. Which is mm -hmm. fun. But I should change that. Because uh, I want... Oh, why can't I change it? Have they made it so you can't change commanders in enemy territory in CK2? I think, I think so. Uh, no, I can change to... Maybe it's because I'm attached. I can select a, a Leonese commander? Yeah. That's weird. What? Maybe they have. Maybe they have. Uh. Anyway. Anyway, so if you click on the siege, they're uh -huh. going to lose morale 5.3% every 12 days. And when they run out of morale, we win the siege. That's it. Yeah. Nice and simple. We can also assault. We can't order mm -hmm. assault because we're not currently a leader of the siege. I think you're the leader of the siege. So you can click mm -hmm. the assault button. Do you see the assault button? It's in the top right. Of yeah, the, uh, the sword with the green arrow. Yes. So mm -hmm. don't press it. Now, you you should... Um, generally, you want to assault when it's 10 to 1 odds. Maybe a bit more than 10 to 1 like 13 to 1 odds. Okay, just like just like EU4. Yes. And uh, in this game, you want to assault when you've got about 13 to 1 odds. Because you will take more casualties from siege event attrition than you mm. will from the assault. So okay. let's just quickly win this siege. So you gotta keep a bit of an eye on your sieges. Yeah, that sounds nice. I'm coming into this family gathering too. You do have to keep an eye on your sieges, yes. So they're sieging down him in the north. But uh, he can respond to that if he wants to. That's fine. It's more important to defend you. Mm. These, uh, these Muslim aggressors. Yeah, they're very small armies. <laughs> oh, jeez. <he> <laughs> I can claim Hungary right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like a PU style kind of thing? No, I just get it. No, actually, I don't. I can claim Hungary on behalf of my wife. If I succeed, my wife becomes Queen of Hungary. Hmm. But my wife is married to me, which means if we have a kid, and then I become the kid, and then the yeah. wife dies, the, the kid inherits Hungary, you become the King of Hungary. But uh, I think we need to focus on domestic policy right now. Mm, I don't know, man. That sounds pretty good. It does, but Hungary That's has like 5k a... troops, so us put together, we'd still have trouble. And okay. uh, they'd get more troops if I attack them, because when you're defending against foreigners, you get a boost to the number of troops you can raise. Mm. So if you look at your military screen, you can probably raise extra army levies than you could earlier. I got a baby. Hey, already? Jesus. <laughs> you're fertile. Yeah, yeah my, my lady got pregnant real quick. Nice one. What are you going to call him? Oh, it's a girl. Bad luck. Mm. <laughs> hey, man, I don't mind queens. That's fine. Yeah, but everyone is. I'm sure there's some like negative modifiers to it, like yes. probably lower prestige or something. Okay, so a siege event just happened. Did you get it too? It'll appear in the top right. Yeah, a little siege of validated 
I died, yeah. or I failed. The defenders have launched an unsuccessful raid against the besiegers, taking heavy losses in the attempt. So they just mm. lost uh, 122 troops, which is quite nice. Oh, there's vassal inheritance warning. Ooh, what's going on? Uh, you know, evil lady. Yeah. Her, uh, she there wants. Me. <laughs> Her, I'm gonna inherit Zamora. <laughs> when she oh dies. yeah. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> She's had done a matrilineal marriage with the Prince of, of uh, Navarra. So if they have a kid, then the Prince of Navarra is going to inherit it. And then if mm -hmm. he, he inherits Navarra, then Navarra will get that province. But it looks okay. like his dad's already dead, so he's unlikely to inherit Navarra. Hmm. Okay, so we're about to win this siege. He's going to siege down the two subholdings. And being sieged down is bad, by the way. You're making way less income from that province than you would, even after they've Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm actually that... making income from siege provinces? Uh, no, but you can from the places below it at the moment. But the point is, even after it's liberated, the loot bar will yeah. still be damaged. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Victory! Okay. All right, let's keep sieging down these uh, lower places, I think. Probably worthwhile. So you can Wait, see we want to siege them? Sorry? We want to siege them or try to defend yes. my land? Okay. You want to siege... My plan is, we keep sieging him until he leaves that province. Then we go in and free it. Because he's in the hills at the moment. We want him to leave. Where are you going? Uh, South? To siege now, Okay, so or you we want siege down Kunka. the top province here. The yeah. ones below the top are usually easier to siege, so it makes sense to siege them as well. Once you siege the top down, it makes sense to push all the way down to the bottom. Does that make sense? I'm confused. The, okay, the... so click on the province that we're sieging right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, if you click on the county capitals, the castle... Yes. It opens up a dialogue. We should look into this later, by the way. In this game, it's... Worth more complicated in terms of buildings you can build you can you basically improve your castle as you go along mm -hmm. which is it's much more fun in this game than buildings are in e4 i think so you okay. can see this place has a fort level of five in the top under the uh, ducats it's got fort level Do you see that uh yes good now if you click on the city that we're currently sieging the city of madrid city fort of level. madrid uh yes so in the place we're currently sieging mm -hmm. the, the city that we're now sieging like the well it's one of those Lower tier ones. I'm looking for it. I don't see it in the dialogue, though. Uh, you, It's not in that dialogue. Sorry, sorry. Close the, the castle dialogue. It's in uh -huh. the siege dialogue. And there you see you've got those three sub holdings down there. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So, you, so I haven't like actually Madrid. sieged everything. There are multiple buildings to siege. Correct. There's the top tier one, which is this castle. And then there's uh -huh. those lower ones. And this city has a fort level of 0.8. Okay. Way easier to siege, so it makes sense to stay here and siege down the uh, the lower ones. I see. So, so we, you can see we see. Is there like a general rule? Is there a way for I can that I can kind of like? Yeah, that's why I'm getting multiple siege dialogues from from the same province. Yeah. Um, is there a way yes, that I can kind of tell them. if it's going to be easier to keep sieging these buildings or move somewhere else? Yeah, just check the fort level. Okay. So if you check this. Mosque, it's got a fort level of two, and if we check Kunker, the fort level there is five again. Now I've just noticed that he's leaving that province. So if we went to north, we would arrive on the 9th of May. He's going to be gone by the 26th of April. So let's go north and let's liberate that province. And he's going to Lyon. Lyon is farmlands, <laughs> so it's perfect for us to engage him in. Mm, do we want to go to like Astorga so that we don't get the river crossing, or Excellent is there not thinking. a river? You could go to Burgas, though. There's no military access in this game. You can walk any army anywhere at any time. Oh, okay. But first, yeah, I forgot first that assault. I forgot that you're in the war, so I have access. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there is no access ever in this game. Like you could literally march to India right now. Oh, okay. You take attrition, though. Okay, now let's stop hmm. in this province because this is the war goal. Now you can see it's 743 to 600, so as soon as you can, let's launch an assault and let's liberate this province. It's going to cost us some men. But, you see there? See, it didn't cost yep. many, did it? And it's way no. faster. So let's yeah. finish liberating this province, and then we'll go and take him out. I'll leave that to you. Should I just insult, keep assaulting since they're yes. also low? Now they're all terribly low, so it's just easy. The Holy Roman Empire set up an anti-pope. Alright, so now let's go north and let's take these guys on. Hopefully we'll win. Okay. We've got uh, quite a few. If you want, you can sit in my province for a moment 
I've got another 900 guys waiting to reinforce. So let's sure. see if you hover over my army. Mm. So you hover over my army, it should say somewhere. There you go. See, the numbers just went up. Yeah. So if yours, it says 3,600 out of 4,300. And mine, it's uh, 3,700 out of 5,000. So it's going to okay. increase up on a uh, monthly tick. I think it's monthly. Anyway. Um, but at the, right. moment, at the moment, we outnumber him. So next time, we will uh, we'll go in and we'll smash him. We'll relieve the siege of Lyon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Reconquista shall begin in earnest. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and we'll say goodbye.